Does a scalpel have good edge retention? The question was posed to me by Gabe. And you know what? I'm sure they have great edge retention for cut and flesh as they are intended to be used. However, let's try this brand new sterilized factory fresh scalpel with a replaceable blade. Um, it's an English stainless steel. So I'm going to say it's like a pretty basic 400 series or something like that. Exceedingly thin blade, of course. Windy. I won't talk as much because I have a feeling the wind is ruining the audio. Anyway, they are very sharp versus paper. Let's see how this tiny little blade goes against twisted sisal rope until it stops doing that on paper. And this is just a uh, even ball, not even ballpark really, because I usually use a lot more blade than just that front part anyway. So I'm just going to see if it, just the geometry is basically going to either fall over very quickly or it's going to cut for a pretty normal time for a basic stainless steel. So let's see. Tricky, but kind of getting it done. Still feels sharp. 20 cuts. Six there feels a bit dull. Oh, Gone right. Thirty six. It's difficult to cut with. That's for sure. It's very sort of wonky in its holder as well. pretty good interesting this is interesting 70 cuts on a basic stainless you know it's the thinness is obviously helping a lot still push cut and paper pretty impressive at 90 for a steel that is just branded stainless Ten. Still a sharp blade, 110. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> so, so at 115, the uh, the whole tool fails. That's uh, that's where your your brace is going to stop when you're doing a rope cut test. Fuck! I've only got one of these as well. Ah oh, well. Anyway, for a brandless stainless steel, I didn't even know where that blade went. <laughs> Shit. So for a brandless stainless steel, that was not slowing down at all just yet. So I might have to revisit this one, but um, yeah, that's just shorn off, <laughs> bing, straight away. So um, I was actually expecting it to cut like three times through the rope and then it just roll over because it's just so thin and delicate, but it seems it's thin, but it's got a decent enough bevel and a decent enough geometry to have some strength. I just thought that that would be for like skin only, which requires very little, um, you could have a really, really acute angle and be fine. So, cool, um, I may revisit that, but there you go, 116 I think it was just now um, for the brandless stainless scalpel. <laughs> Remembering, it wasn't the blade that stopped, it was the, the this. Found it, um, hmm. Uh, it's no, it's not going to survive. It's not going to. Ah, that, that's how I get a cut finger. Yeah, I might have to revisit that one with a more robust scalpel at some point.
Maybe I'll get a craft knife. Oh, yeah. Who knows? Interesting. <laughs> Interesting.